Welcome to this presentation which aims to summarise our management information systems project about Tesco's online grocery shopping. The presentation will cover the following aspects. There are Tesco's business model, the information system Tesco uses, how the website supports the customer's decision making process and online transactions, an ER diagram related to Tesco's, an access database with queries, and finally recommendations on how Tesco's website can be improved. As with all businesses, Tesco's has a business model which aims to give them direction. Tesco's is the UK market leader in the supermarket industry, currently with a market share of 30.6%. This compared to Asda 16.8% and Sainsbury's 16.3%, as you can see there's a significant difference. Tesco's has a huge range of products and services including groceries, international retail sales, non-food offerings, including health and beauty, electronics, personal finance, telecoms and their consumer research business, Dun Humble. In order to, for Tesco's to be successful, they follow their five core strategies. Firstly, to be a successful international retailer, demonstrated when they acquired 36 bike markets in South Korea, the largest market outside the UK. Secondly, to grow their core UK business. Thirdly, to be as strong in non-food as in food. Fourthly, developing retailing services such as personal finance, telecoms, and Tesco's.com. Finally, to put community at the heart of what we do. Tesco's has many information systems in place to ensure the delivery of its online groceries through its website are efficiently managed. According to Oz and Jones, an information system is a computer-based pro process that extracts data and turns it into useful information. The first of Tesco's information systems is Microsoft SQL Server 2005, which allows Tesco's to store all its online and in-store data into a single database, enabling the My Favourite section to run productively. This has a main benefit of reducing processing time whilst facilitating faster upgrades. Also, a service so socket layer system will encrypt the data as it travels to the database via the website, which ensures that no unauthorized personnel can access the data. Furthermore, security systems in the place alongside SSL is an electronic data interchange and electronic fund transfer system, which enables the movement of data between the customer and Tesco's to run smoothly. Furthermore, a visitor behavior information system will process data into information so current trends such as profitability can be identified. In the first year of introducing this, internet sales increased from 2.34 billion to 4.2 billion. Finally, Tesco's incorporates intranets and extranets into its information systems. The intranets will provide information that only Tesco's employees can access, whereas an extranet can allow external users associated with Tesco's, such as suppliers to access information from Tesco's information systems. Whenever a customer makes a decision, they will go through a process. According to Solomon et al., this process will include a problem being recognized by the individual, the information to cater that problem being searched for, the evaluation and selection of chosen alternatives, and finally decision being implemented. After implementation, the individual will do a post purpose evaluation of the chosen product. To support the customer's decision making process, Tesco has incorporated a number of features onto their website. There's a clear layout that helps the customer to find what they're looking for, either through the search bar or the navigation tabs at the top of the page. When a customer selects a product, they can view an image of it and put in detailed information about this product. This information can include nutritional and storage information details. If the information is not to the customer's needs, the website provides links to view alternative Tesco products. A key feature of the website is the shopping basket, always being on view. This helps provide the customer with details of what they have selected and an estimated cost of their shopping order. 
Well, if your customer signs into their account, they're drawn to the latest promotion offers in relation to their previous purchases to persuade them to purchase these. The unique feature of the website is the My Favourites section. This section incorporates the Tesco's club card with customers entering their unique card number. This will show their previous purchases made both in-store and online, thus speeding up the decision process. Finally, there is a dedicated page for customer, customer needs help or security information about the website with contact numbers and help guys provided. To illustrate the relationships throughout the customer's purchasing process, an entity relationship diagram has been created on the information system that facilitates a purchase on Tesco's website. You can see here the entities which include customer, payment, ordering, employee. These entities then have a number of attributes which contain the information about that specific entity. Taking the example of the customer entity, the customer will have a unique ID which is shown as a primary key by being underlined. And then the information such as the customer's phone number, address, name and customer email is also stored. This process is then repeated for each of the entities as shown in the diagram. From the ER diagram, an access database was created to show the relationships and appropriate entity tables which are shown here. Each table holds information and data about the customers, payments, orders, employees, departments, suppliers, products and deliveries. You can see here the primary keys that were shown on the line on the ER diagram are shown with the key symbol next to them and here foreign keys have been used to reduce data redundancy and they're shown by the black lines linking the foreign keys in each table. We designed some queries based on Tesco's website to extract specific data from the database. In this case, we decided to select a specific customer by using their name. The screenshot from Tesco's website demonstrates that the data that will be shown in this query. In order to improve Tesco's website, we have come up with three recommendations. Firstly, based around Schneiderman's visual information seeking mantra theory, the overview first, zoom and filter, then details in demand. To cover the filter aspect of the theory, a more advanced search bar will be introduced, which improves the depth and detail of the customer's information search when looking for a product, such as enabling them to search for specific product prices. Tesco could also provide clearer product pictures to better advertise the products freshness. This would be more aesthetically pleasing for the customer, thus supporting their decision more. In comparison to one of Tesco's competitive waitfills, a feedback and rating system would improve the customer's interface and decision making. For example, they might be inclined to spend more for high quality products as a result of positive feedback previously provided by another customer. These recommendations would help to improve the customer's online experience. Thank you for watching.